What's going on everybody? It's your boy C-Dub once again with another episode of C-Dub Outdoor. Today is Tuesday. I know it's been forever, but once again we are going to have a Just the Tip Tuesday. That's right. And today we're going to talk about sighting in your rifles. And I'm going to share with you the easiest way I know how to sight in a rifle. And that is to use a laser bore sight. You guys are familiar with these? Check it out. This one is actually put out by Sightmark. It's the only product by Sightmark that I will back because I'm not a big fan of their stuff. Because everything that I've used by then, them is not the best of quality. Long story short, this is the only thing that I will use from them and it's definitely worth it. I would go out and buy one. They are caliber specific, so whatever caliber you're trying to sight in, you have to buy the actual cartridge because it fits in the actual rifle and sits in there like a like a um, like an actual round would, which makes it awesome because it seats in the barrel it doesn't move unlike these you guys might be familiar with these this is the other form of you know bore sight that you can use I'm not a fan of these because they use bushings at the end put in the end of the barrel and there's always some type of movement and I'm not a fan at all these actually set in the barrel there's no movement there's no play and they are awesome i'm going to go over a little bit uh, uh, how i go about sighting in my rifles i'm going to show you guys how you how i do it and uh that's your tip for today so real simple laser got a white sheet of paper set up on a tree about 20 yards out in my backyard we're going to go ahead and load this, pull the bolt back out of the way, so we're going to find it on the tree out there, on the white paper, so it shows up nice, and I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but I got a nice red dot shining bright, I uh, usually want to keep it in a shaded area that way it's not shining bright if you, even if you have a house with a long hallway or something like that you can do it on that and then I'm going to adjust accordingly and I always leave depending on how far I am but when I do uh, adjust on this tree I always leave it out like Maybe just a taste. I leave the reticle just a taste above the uh, the red laser dot, and that always seems to work out good for me. So just a few clicks here, and a few clicks on my windage, and uh, should be good. I mean, like I said, fairly simple. Neighbors think I'm crazy sometimes if they look over here. I got a gun pointing out the window, but they mind their business. That's not a problem. There it is. That's that's pretty much it. And we'll take this thing to the range and see how close I am. And uh, I guarantee that I'm within a couple inches once I get to the range. All right. So now that we have it close with the bore sight, laser, whatever you want to call it. We're going to go ahead and uh, take this thing to the range and get it zeroed in and I'll see you when we get there. Bye bye.
well, there you have it, folks. A true testament for the uh, sight mark bore sight, laser bore sights. Those things are awesome, man. I just don't see it, why you would do it any other way. You saw how close I was, and that was, I didn't even have to make any adjustments, like, period. I, I tweaked it a little bit once I got in there, but those first rounds, those first rounds that I put down range, they were, I mean, definitely close enough. A lot of people would have been happy with those. Well, there you have it, folks. Another Just a Tip Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Do me a favor and subscribe, like the video, share it. Let's keep it going. Uh, we're, we're blowing up, people. I shouldn't say blowing up, but we're, we're steadily growing. Um, up to 220 subscribers. We have the giveaway coming up on Friday, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, you guys are awesome, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I'm out.